My name is Sohail Tavazoy, and I head the Laboratory of Systems Cancer Biology at Rockefeller University. My lab studies the biology of cancer metastasis. This is a process by which cancer cells travel from a primary tumor site to distant organs. And once within those organs, they can form colonies and uh, cause organ dysfunction and ultimately the death of the patient. So in order to complete this multi-step process, cancer cells must increase the expression levels of a number of genes. My laboratory has found that one major mechanism by which cancer cells do this is by uh, modulating the expression levels of specific microRNAs. When Jiamin Lu joined my laboratory, he expressed interest in studying cancer metastasis by tumors arising from the gut. And the majority of cancers from the gut metastasize to the liver. As cancer cells coming from the gut, such as cancers from colorectal uh, tumors, they arrive in the liver and they travel there via the portal circulation. The portal circulation has low levels of oxygen. So that, that is a major barrier for cancer cells as they travel to the liver because it can impact their survival. Moreover, as cancer cells get inside the liver, they're competing with liver hepatocytes for glucose uptake. And so despite these, both of these barriers, uh, rare cancer cells can form colonies within the liver and destroy the liver. And, and liver metastasis by gastrointestinal cancers causes the death of over a million people a year globally. And so Jiamin Lu in the laboratory reasoned that if he could use a systematic approach to identify microRNAs that are modulated by cancers of the gastrointestinal tract, he could use them as molecular probes to identify genes and to deconstruct the pathways that might be important in this process. I decided to utilize two unbiased approach to identify microRNAs that regulate corrector cancer metastasis to the liver. In the first approach, I performed a functional in vivo screen to study the impact of expression of over 600 distinct microRNAs on liver colonization by corrector cancer cells. And in the second approach, I look at expression of hundreds of microRNAs in highly metastatic cancer subpopulation relative to poorly metastatic cancer subpopulation cells derived from the same patient. So I then asked if there is any microRNAs identified by both approaches. I found that indeed there was two microRNAs common to both approaches. I found MIR-43 and MIR-551 as potential suppressors of corrector cancer metastasis. So through an extensive series of experiments, Jiamin Lu, Xander Nguyen, Alexis Sherl, Feng Ying Man, and the other co-authors uh, revealed the biology that is regulated by these microRNAs. What they found is that as colon cancer cells alive, arrive within the liver microenvironment, a substantial number of them die. There are rare cells that are able to persist and survive. And what we find is that these rare cells have shut down the levels of these two microRNAs. By shutting down these two microRNAs, we find that these cells are able to increase the levels of a specific gene, and that gene is called creatine kinase B. These cells can actually secrete or release the CKB protein into the extracellular space. CKB is an enzyme that transfers the high energy phosphate from ATP onto the metabolite creatine. Creatine is a metabolite that's primarily synthesized in the liver. This phosphocreatine, we find, is then imported into cells through a pump, and then the, the high-energy phosphate from phosphocreatine is then transferred onto ADP to generate ATP. ATP is the major source uh, of energy within the cell, and this allows these rare cells to uh, survive. And so the model we're proposing is one wherein uh, rare colon cancer cells within the liver microenvironment are able to release an enzyme, a metabolic enzyme, into the extracellular space when they're in a low energy state. And, and this enzyme can use a metabolite from the extracellular space, but also ATP from outside the cell, and to transfer the high energy phosphate into this metabolite and bring it into the cell, and then regenerate ATP as fuel that allows these cells to survive and then go on to form metastatic colonies. We were able to do a collaboration with our colleagues at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center, namely Pat Patey, uh, Len Saltz, and Zhao Shi Zhang. And what we did was to look at human tumor samples, primary tumors and liver metastases from colorectal cancer. And we found that the expression levels of these microRNAs and these genes that we had identified in our mice experiments actually correlate with the level of progression of this disease. And moreover, historical studies in the past had found that patients with advanced cancers can have CKB protein within the serum. In light of the scientific findings that we have made, these findings make perfect sense. So our basic findings generate a number of opportunities for potential therapeutic intervention. In the study, we provide 
proof of concepts for therapeutic targeting of these pathways. In the first case, what we did was to generate adeno-associated virus expressing both of our metastasis suppressors microRNA. 24 hours after inoculating the mice with colorectal cancer cells, we treated mice with the adeno-associated viral particle that we engineered. And we found that we were able to reduce the metastatic burden of mice by as much as fivefold three weeks after injecting them with colorectal cancer cells. So from a therapeutic perspective, we think these findings are exciting because one could imagine that drugs could be made that target extracellular enzymes without hitting intracellular enzymes and thus creating a, a larger therapeutic index for such drugs. And the biology that we're targeting, we coin extracellular metabolic catalysis.